This man is very well known for playing baseball. Jack Roosevelt Robinson, or Jackie, was born on January the 31st, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia, but grew up in Pasadena, California. As he grew, he worked hard and became very good at the sports he played. In fact, while attending UCLA, or the University of California, at Los Angeles, Jackie became the first athlete in the school's history to letter in four sports, basketball, baseball, football, and track. In 1942, Jackie joined the United States Army and became a second lieutenant a year later. He then received a medical discharge in 1944 and began teaching physical education at the Samuel Houston College in Austin, Texas. The next year in 1945, Jackie joined the Negro League and played for the Monarchs. During his year in this league, a man named Branch Rickey was diligently looking for black baseball players to play in the major leagues. See, at this time in our country's history, black people were not allowed in the same places as white people. Everyone thought that Rickey was going to start an all-Negro league, but secretly he was looking for one player that was strong enough to break the color barrier that had plagued baseball for 60 years. In Jackie Robinson, he found that player. Jackie Robinson began playing in the major leagues for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. He was the first black man ever to play baseball in the majors. He was 28 years old and older than other rookies. He had an excellent 10-year career with the Dodgers, stealing home 19 times in his career. The Dodgers wanted to trade him to the New York Giants in 1956, but Robinson was very loyal to the Dodgers and was grateful for what they had done for him and for civil rights, so he refused. He retired in January of 1957, having never played for anyone else but the Brooklyn Dodgers. With the admission of other African Americans to baseball, Jackie began to aggressively advocate for a more honest integration. His exposés of racial prejudice in baseball helped better the lot of black players that were coming in, but also branded him a troublemaker. When he retired from the sport in 1956, he went into business. Still, his lifetime batting average and his leadership prompted sports writers in 1962 to vote him membership into the Baseball's Hall of Fame. Jackie knew that he was a role model, and he knew that with this modeling would come great responsibility. So he continued to fight for increased civil rights and economic opportunity for black Americans. For his civil rights work, he received the Springle Medal from the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1956. Jackie Robinson stood proud when the Dodgers retired his baseball uniform in June of 1972, just four months before he died of a sudden heart attack in October. This stamp commemorates the life of Jackie Robinson. In 1997, on the 50th anniversary of his break in the color barrier, Jackie Robinson's number 42 was permanently retired from the game of baseball.